Hey guys and welcome to ADS system. In today's video I will be explaining how to add or maintain a record, how to make a booking, sorting, filtration, search and amendment from listing. So let's get into the system and see what these things are. So as you can see the system by default brings up all the live bookings which we have. On the top we have a menu bar which has different buttons and all of these buttons are used to perform different functions. Below this we have an option to make different kinds of bookings. Next to this it shows how many live jobs we have in our system. We have about four boxes which gives us the option to open our dashboard. Next to this we have the option for deleting a job by selecting the box next to the jobs in the listing and then clicking on delete you can also open the calendar and also export these jobs then below this we have different boxes which are showing different states you can save different states against these boxes and save them from the configuration area Below you have different buttons which are also used as filters. You can select the dates of the bookings you want to open by clicking on these two little calendars which we have to select from and to dates. You can also directly open today's bookings or completed jobs for today by these two little buttons right next to the calendars. You can also search bookings as you want by their reference numbers or their addresses or the sections or account names or even patients names by simply typing in the reference number or whatever you want to search into this search box and then clicking on search by text then you have the option to apply a filter where you can filter jobs by selecting their statuses or you can select the hospital name the subdivision the patient name the resource or the pay type as if it's cash account or credit card or even check and you can also open live jobs or completed and deleted jobs so that's how you can apply a filter now let's see how you can add or maintain a record so for that you have to click on setup tab office from your menu bar and then select which record you want to add or maintain say for instance you want to add or maintain a resource then you have to click on maintain resource so if you want to add a resource you have to first click on add and then enter all the details which is asking for like you can add a call sign you can add the vehicle mobile number registration number the expiry dates for mat license and insurance you can also select which state you want this resource against like i was explaining earlier then you can select the driver name or number and then you can select the crew as to which crew you want it to be and then simply save which would add a new record into your system however if you want to make a change to an existing record all you have to do is click on that record it would bring up the details into the listing below and from there you can simply amend and then save and it would automatically change all the details into that record so that's how you add or maintain a record all of the records are also added and maintained exactly the same way like let's just quickly have a look at maintain account so here we go we have all these account names saved into the system if you want to add a new account you just simply click on add new account and then enter the details click on add enter the customer or subdivisions name the account name address the city town postcode mobile number email address and payment method as to what kind of customer it is if it's an account or card customer any other information you want to save you can enter into the other info box or the client note box so now let's see how we can make a new booking so for that let's click on std booking which means standard booking and this would be the display which comes up on your screen where on top you have the job reference number which is automatically generated by system default below that it gives you three options to make the booking a private or an account or a card job then it gives you the option to select the customer's name you can select the hospital name any special notes would also automatically appear into the account notes below that it would show the address if you have saved any particular address into the record then you can enter the patient's name and section number you can enter the patient's date of birth into this DOV box by selecting a date from the calendar if your patient has any kind of risk factor you can also select his risk level and then you can enter the time of the booking the date of the booking by simply selecting the date from the calendar then you can enter the time as to what time the patient has actually been picked up you can also select if a wheelchair is required into the booking or not 
you have to add the addresses as to where from and where to the customer has to be conveyed into the boxes below any special details you want to put down for your booking you have to enter into the job comments below on the right hand side it also gives you the option to show any previous notes or bookings for this particular account if you have had this booking before you have the option to make multiple bookings by clicking on reoccurring job if you want to make more than one booking you can also reopen the booking if the job has already been completed below this you have an option to complete the job which means that the booking would disappear from your listing and it will go into the completed jobs all the completed jobs are locked so if you want to reopen the job you have to click on reopen booking next to this you also have an option to send a receipt to the customer and make a return and duplicate job by clicking on the icons at the end you also have an option to sms or email the resource and customer so these are all the details which you can enter into your booking and at the end you simply have to click on save only and this would save your booking into the system so these were the main functions of our ads system there's still a lot more to it which i would be explaining in different videos however if you have any queries relating this video you can always feel free to email it to me and my team and we'll be happy to answer your questions please do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned thank you